Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today I want to talk about something that is so important that if you don't get this right, all of your other preps are pretty much for nothing. The reason I'm doing this video right now is that just 10 minutes ago something happened to me and I'm like, you know, I really got to get this more under control for myself too. I've, I've been working on this a little bit, but I think I really need to, to jump on it a lot more. Uh, Amber just left off to go to school, uh, and uh, I bought her a graphing calculator for her algebra class recently. Uh, so she had this old just scientific calculator and didn't need it anymore, so she left it on my desk. So I picked it up, and I have a place for calculators. So I walked over right into that drawer right over there, and I went to put this away. And what I saw in the drawer was, all the way in the back, a graphing calculator. I had one. I totally didn't need to buy one. I spent like $70 buying, yeah, I think it was $70, I got a used one. $70 buying her a graphing calculator, and I had one sitting in there. And I ran out to the car to tell her, oh, Amber, we had one and we didn't need to buy it. And then I went back in, I went to put this back in the, uh, in the drawer with the other calculator, and I found this, another graphing calculator. <laughs> Maybe you can see where I'm going with this. If you don't know what you have, you're not going to use your assets very wisely. And the way this connects to prepping, obviously, is that when you're setting stuff back, when you're stacking, you're accumulating a lot of things. And, you know, they always say, and I love this phrase, uh, two is one and, and one is none. Well, two is, is none also if you don't even know that you have it or don't remember that you have it or don't know where it is. So what I've been doing, and like I said, this is something that I need to work on more myself. The graphing calculator fiasco proves that to me. Now I have three graphing calculators. Two at home, one off with her. We got spares, that's good. The prepper in me loves that. Uh, but this is something that I've, I've started, and I think I really need to diversify it out to a lot of my preps. And this is a, a sheet that I've been creating for my grab-and-go bag, bug-out bag. Um, I don't just have one, I have lots of them. They're kind of tiered, and I'll do a whole video on those later, because I think I have kind of a novel approach to it. Um, but there's a lot of different things. If I'm going to run out of the house, a lot to grab, and I've got it kind of listed as to where everything is. Uh, and if I go inside this packet, I can see exactly what is in my EDC pack. Everything here. Uh, so if I come up with an idea of, oh gosh, that'd be something that'd be nice to be in, in my EDC pack, I wonder if I have put that in there yet. I don't have to rip open the whole bag, I can just look on my list and I can look right down here. Oh, I already have a matchbook. Um, it was packed. I don't put the date on the matchbooks because the matchbook isn't going to expire. And it says that I have one of them. And I might think, oh, geez, you know, I should have some cash in my pack. Do I have cash? Oh, yeah, I do. I'm not going to tell you how much cash I carry in my pack. You know, mind your own business. The same. Uh, but it says here how much cash I have in there. I feel it. I still feel comfortable with that. I've got that for, uh, you know, other, other bags that I, I would take with me camping and things like that. It says exactly what's in my bag that has the tent in it and my cooking bag. I have an emergency add-on bag and it tells me how many acetaminophen of 500 milligrams I have in there. Um, so I have started organizing my, my bug out bags, and my camping bags and things like that. But there's a lot of things that I don't really have a solid sense of. Um, I don't have a centralized list anywhere that tells me exactly how many N95 masks that I have in the house. And I bet there's a lot of things that I can't even list here that I've accumulated at some point that I kind of forget that I have. And if you don't know that you have it, you functionally don't. If you're in an emergency situation, and if you, A, don't remember that you already made a contingency for what's happening and you have the assets you need, or B, remember that you did and don't know where the hell you put them, it doesn't really do you any good. It pretty much renders your prep useless. So is this something that you're actively doing? Are you creating a real organization or do you just have a really awesome memory? I don't have a great memory. Um, what are you doing to make sure that all the preps and things that you're setting back are actually useful to you later and you don't end up with three graphing calculators? I'm all for, uh, you know, redundancy, but when the shit hits the fan, I don't see myself running for a uh, graphing calculator. Okay, graphing calculator, I need my graphic. Oh. 
left my graphing calculator at home. Damn it. I just, I just looked into the blast. Fuck. What's your policy? What do you do? Do you think it's overkill to really do lists and all that kind of stuff? Or is that a good idea? I think it's something that I'm going to be integrating into my uh, preps a lot more, including my pantry. Uh, I think for, you know, knowing when food's getting old and things like that. Um, what do you think? What are your thoughts on that? Thanks for watching.